How do you use the DOM inspector and dev tools to debug and build your projects? When you're building out projects, you will frequently run into issues where your programs are not working as expected. Programmers often refer to these issues as bugs. The process of finding and fixing these bugs is known as debugging. To debug your code, you will need to use some tools provided by your browser. Two important tools to use would be the DOM inspector and developer tools. The DOM inspector allows you to inspect the HTML structure of the page you are on. The DOM stands for Document Object Model. It is a tree-like structure that represents the elements on a page. You will learn more about the DOM in later modules. The developer tools allow you to inspect the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript of the page you're on. Let's take a look at an HTML example that contains a small bug in the anchor element. When you click on the link, it will lead to a 404 page. A 404 page is an error page that appears when a user tries to access a web page that doesn't exist on the server. The intent is for the link to lead to the free CodeCamp curriculum. To see what the issue might be, you can use the developer tools. To open the developer tools in your browser, you can right-click on the page and select Inspect. You can also use Control shift i on your PC keyboard or Command option i on your Mac. Here is an example of opening the developer tools in Google Chrome. The first tab is called the Elements tab. This tab shows you the HTML structure of the page you're on. The second tab is called the Console tab. This tab shows any errors that might be occurring on the page. In this situation, you can check the console to see the error messages for this broken link. There are a lot of messages displaying on the screen, but the common message that continues to display is the 404 error. The 404 error indicates that the page is not found. This lets us know that the issue is with the URL in the anchor element. When you inspect the href value, you will see that there is a typo. Right now, it says forward slash learn, but the correct URL should be forward slash learn. When the link is corrected, then it will work as expected. You will learn more about working with the developer tools throughout the certification. But this is just a short example on how it can help you debug your code.